Hey, what's up, you guys? In the past few months, you may have noticed I've been talking about this NextLab NetMeter N1 tool. If you're not familiar, it's a tool that allows you to take network measurements but use a mobile device as the graphical user interface. So the testing happens on the box, but you view it on a mobile device. Well, one test in particular is called TWAMP, which is short for Two-Way Active Measurement Protocol. It's designed to test the quality, the latency, and consistency of a span within your network. And it's composed of two different elements, a sender and a responder. Now, if you had two of the N1s, you could use one as a responder and one as a sender. But realistically, a lot of us don't have access to two at the same time, but you can use a laptop. Let's do a demo. First, I'm gonna start by showing you with two N1s, then I'll show you with a laptop. So I've got two different browsers open. One is for each one of the N1s, okay? Remember, the test doesn't happen on the computer that you're looking at the results on. The test happens on the N1 uh, tools themselves. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go into TWAMP on one that's gonna live as the responder role. I'm also gonna open TWAMP on the other unit, which is gonna be the sender, which is the default role. And I'm gonna put the IP address that I got from the responder. So whatever IP address the unit that's acting as the responder is, has to be plugged in to the sender. Now I'm gonna start the responder. Then I'm gonna come over here and start the sender. And then it runs and it collects the results. And you can set different parameters for how long you want it to run and so forth. The default I think is 15, 20 seconds. Now once they stop, the result is stored on the sender unit, okay? So when you navigate out to the results page, the results are gonna be on the sender unit. All right, so what if I only have access to one NextLab NetMeter N1? So you're gonna to go to a website, I'll give you the URL, and you're gonna download the appropriate installer for your device. I'm gonna use a Windows installer for the TWAMP GUI. And this allows you to run a laptop or computer in either a sender or responder mode. So I'll get it installed on my laptop. And one of the things that's really cool about a laptop, I'll show you in just a minute. Now, after it's installed, it's important to realize there's two different programs. There's a responder program, and then there's the client program or the sender program. So I launched the responder program. And then you'll need to remember to get the IP address off of the computer or laptop where you're running the program as a responder because you're going to need that for your uh, your unit that's going to act as the sender. In other words, your next lab net meter N1, you're going to need to take that IP address and plug it into the uh, sender uh, program of your uh, of your N1. Okay, so grab my IP address, come over and launch my browser and log into my. TWAMP on the N1. I need to plug in my IP address. So essentially, you're probably noticing that the process is very similar to what we just did when we had the two NextLab NetMeter N1s. But there's one really cool thing that I noticed you can do with a wireless laptop that you can't yet do today with the N1, and that is measure wirelessly. This makes it super cool. Now I've got a responder that can work on Wi-Fi that I can move around anywhere to various spots in the Wi-Fi field. So getting back to the test, whether we're using a second N1 to act as our responder or we're using a laptop or computer to act as our responder, the test is still the same. The results are still stored on the sender unit of the N1. So by looking at the results, you would be able to tell the difference whether you had a responder that was an N1 or a computer or laptop. I personally think the laptop gives you some kind of unique capability when you think about the Wi-Fi aspect of it. So what's the point of this test? I mean, why are we trying to figure out latency? Well, because it gives us a way of benchmarking different segments of our network. When you run a download speed test, all you're doing is testing from some point on the internet to your endpoint where you're standing on the LAN. This allows you to move the N1 or the responder to various locations inside your local area network and then compare the average latencies or the min-max latencies. So for instance, you could compare, say, a segment between two switches 
or a segment of one access point versus a different access point. Or maybe you've got an access point that's hardwired and then you've got another one that uses a wireless backhaul. Using these metrics allows you to compare different spans within your network. Well, anyway, so I want to leave you with this. In case you weren't aware, all the test results can be exported as PDFs. So you see, you just put the check mark next to the result, come up here and click on PDF report. I love that you can customize the fields, for not only for yourself, but for your customer. And you download as a PDF and it's a really nice looking report. And I think it adds a, a good level of professionalism and validity to the services that you're offering if you're doing this for a customer. So in case you weren't aware, just be aware that you can download the results as a PDF. Well, anyway, I hope that this little explanation helped you out and good luck with your TWAMP testing. See you next time.